I'm Madeline Burke here with Paul Dottino for your end of day report. And Paul, Brian and Pearson set up some quality lighting for us, but I'm pretty sure we're glowing because of this humidity today. 82% humidity, another Giants practice in pads out there. It's a hot one. It certainly was, Madeline. I was impressed, though, with how the offense went through some timed speed drills at the end of the session. Now they will have another fully padded practice tomorrow, and that one the fans get to see. Absolutely, and tight end Evan Ingram talked about just how excited he is to get out there and reconnect with those Giants fans. I can't wait, honestly. I honestly can't wait. That's been circled on, on my calendar because I do miss the fans at training camp every day like in the past. Um, just so just being back in that atmosphere and kind of getting a taste of what it's going to be like come September 12th. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Can't wait. The coaches will continue to install some things that they'll use during Saturday's preseason opener against the Jets, but I will tell you the fans can't wait to be part of that fan fest tomorrow. Absolutely, and we saw a lot out there today on the field dots, and I want to highlight the defensive backs who have been just showing off this training camp. Well, no question, Madeline. Darnay Holmes had a nice interception today. We also saw Dory Jackson come up with another interception. These defensive backs, they're keeping score during practice to try to push each other during the competition to make each other better, and I'd say it's working so far. Absolutely. The competition on the field is nothing compared to the competition amongst themselves in that locker room back there. All right, we hope to see all of you guys out at MetLife Stadium tomorrow night for Giants Fan Fest. For Paul Dottino, I'm Madeline Burke. Continue checking in on Giants.com or Giants social media for all the latest Big Blue news.